In the world of fashion, Jenny Key's name is unforgettable for the bold and vibrant patterns of Australia's living environment. With the natural environment embedded in her design, Jenny's garments literally enable Australians to wear their identity and be proud of it. She's also renowned for her use of silk, her favourite medium, which she says represents her cultural heritage. She says, My art is inspired by the beauty of Australia's flora and fauna and putting it onto the ancient fabric of China. Jenny's designs are frequently exhibited at major galleries such as the Art Gallery of New South Wales and the National Gallery of Australia. She first came on the international spotlight when her fabric design was unveiled in Paris at the very first Chanel ready-to-wear collection. It was unveiled by Karl Lagerfeld, the international fashion legend. Jenny was also honoured when she was selected to design the costumes during the opening ceremony of the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Like her art, Jenny's life is a colourful mixture of cultures, experiences and choices. She was born in Sydney in 1947 to a Chinese father and a mother of Italian-English descent. Her great-grandparents had migrated from Guangdong province in southern China during the 1870s gold rush. They settled in Cooktown in northern Queensland. Jenny's parents were ahead of their time in terms of their mixed marriage. This was simply not done those days. Chinese married Chinese and Italians married Italians. She says it was her mum that had nurtured her love for design and style since she was a young girl. Her mum, Enid, was a fashionista and her aunties were couture dressmakers. Jenny inherited her parents' sense of adventure, their willingness to tread unfamiliar waters. She describes them as multicultural pioneers and she would have turned out a different person today if they did not have that courage. She says, If I had just been Chinese, or just been Italian, or just Anglo-Saxon, I would be different. It is the mixture that made life exciting. When Jenny was growing up in the 1950s at Sydney's Bondi, it was a far cry from what it is today, a cosmopolitan neighbourhood with fancy restaurants serving up international cuisine. Back then, it was a working class suburb. Asian faces at school were rare. At primary school, there was Jenny, her brother, and one other Asian. Jenny left school at 15 to study fashion at East Sydney Tech, but she found the school too conservative. She says her designs were a blaze of color while the school encouraged the conservative browns and blues. She dropped out after 18 months and worked different jobs including as a model. When she turned 18, she went to London, which she now calls her University of Life. In London, she worked at the famous Viva Fashion Boutique until she met Vernon Lambert, an expatriate Australian fashion historian and collector. She worked at Vernon's vintage clothing shop in the Chelsea Antique Market which was frequented by the cream of the new guard of pop fashion. Vernon became Jenny's mentor, her school of fashion and life. He nurtured her individual innate sense of style by constantly exposing her to ever-changing fashion styles. In 1972, Jenny returned to Australia and started collaborating with master designer Linda Jackson. It was to become an electric and enduring partnership, lasting over 40 years. They created a distinctive fashion style, displaying an Australian identity that is bright and optimistic. Jenny then opened a fashion boutique called Flamingo Park Frock Salon, which became a favourite of high-profile international clients, including David Bowie, Lauren Bacall, Glenda Jackson and Rudolf Nureyev. Jenny's design also caught the attention of the late Diana, Princess of Wales, who wore a jumper with a koala motif to a polo game in 1982. In 2018, Jenny and Linda were made officers of the Order of Australia for their outstanding contributions to the Australian fashion industry. In 2019, the Powerhouse Museum paid tribute to their enduring presence in the fashion industry by mounting the 
Step into Paradise exhibition. The exhibition told the compelling stories behind the 40-year partnership, their inspirations and influences. Jenny's sense of style is matched by a business sense that she attributes to her father, a successful businessman. She had inherited his determination and drive to do whatever is needed to make any endeavor work, whether it's a personal interest or a business. She said he taught her when to take a risk and when to play it safe. It is this sense of balance that had been critical in the longevity of Jenny Key's name in the world of Australian fashion.